So I'm going to start a mini series with you here regarding Svelte and Sapper and also the real world uh, you know, design pattern and also Google Cloud. Now I'll base this upon the stuff that I've taught you already about Svelte and Sapper and the functions framework. So to give you an idea of what the real world is, it is like a clone of Medium and it's powered by various front ends and various back ends and, and a combination of them all. So what I'm going to look at is the, the Svelte front end combined with the Google Cloud back end and we'll just go through it together, talk about how you can develop and see what the code's doing. Because there is a lot of code and it is complicated. I won't kid you on there. So let's just go to this website to see what it's all about. So, okay, that is the actual GitHub website, my mistake. Now, the actual app demo is called uh, Conduit. And there we go. So, there's, it's like a little website here. You go in, you register, you click on users, you can like things, that kind of stuff. You can go there and play around with it. I'm not going to really bother with the, the live one there. But if you want to, you know, look at the code, see how it works, what you do is you... You go down to your framework of choice, which in our case is going to be Google Cloud. Uh, cloud, uh, where is it? Somewhere. Cloud. Okay, so there's this one, which we're going to look at how, how it works, Google Cloud Functions. Now, you could pick anything else, but because I'm interested in Google Cloud, this is what we were looking at in this little mini-series for you. So we'll be looking at this stuff and how we develop it and debug it. And also we're going to be looking at the Svelte front end. Svelte, if I remember how to spell it correctly, Svelte Sapper. So there's the, the Svelte and Sapper sort of back end server side rendering thing that's sort of separate from the back end for, for Google Cloud. So just think of Google Cloud repo is like the back-end restful service and then you've got your like a node server for you know the front end app as well so I have both of these repositories cloned locally and also um, I'm running the data store locally as well um, so it's a uh, Google Cloud Platform Data Store Cloud Functions. So in the real world, when you deploy this to Google, you have a data store, which is a part of Google Cloud's offerings, and that's running on their server. And also, um, you're running, you're hosting the, the Svelte app up there as well. But to develop locally, it's just easier to have everything on your machine. So um, you can read about this, but basically what you do to get the, the site running locally and I'll show you it running locally here. Um, this is actually the, the Svelte version of the conduit running on the, the live server. This is not my server, this is actual. If you go to the, sorry, sorry, sorry if I'm jumping around here, but <laughs> there is a lot of, um, a lot of information that, <laughs> to, to understand this, these full stack production apps here. So if you go to the Svelte real world and looking at this code locally, you go here, they also have their version that works the exact same or as close as enough to the exact same as the real conduit that is the, the on the front page of the of the do, 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 where is it so many too many tabs open here to be honest <laughs> yeah this is the the actual vanilla original one and you can see that the svelte one also looks very similar pretty much uses the same CSS, I imagine. Okay, so let's go back to our computer now. So I've cloned here. Let me just stop some of the processes I'm running. I've got the real world, which is the the Sapper version, Sapper front end and back end. And I've also got the Google Cloud function dat data store project as well. So running this locally, what you have to do is now I'm just showing I've got I've got I've got a package JSON here. Well, I've actually modified this a little bit from the actual repository 
um, to add local emula emulation. This one, the repository isn't doesn't seem to have been maintained that much the past few months, but I'm sure the guy's very busy because he has all the other repositories to look after for, for real world. So I'm just learning a lot from this project and uh, I'm, I've actually enhanced it a little bit so that it can run locally. Just so that I can get my head around how everything's working. So what I've done, um, so when you want to run this uh, locally, you have to use the functions framework, which runs your Google Cloud functions locally. And you also have to use the data store emulator, which you can see here. So to get this thing started, what I have to do is I go in here and I run npm emulate functions, which will run this thing here. And I've got that mapped to an alias. And that starts, that sets up this envi environment variable, which then any client, like the node client for the data store will use this instead of hitting Google Cloud, it'll hit the local version. And then I also wrap the process in forever to, to run on the browser. Now, I actually, I've not really, uh, I found Node running in the browser a little bit flaky. So what I've done, I've in order to debug things, I've went back to to use WebStorm for, for this. And I'll show you that in, the, in the, a later video. But what I'll do is I'll just start this running here, the functions. And then whilst that's, um, that should be setting up here to, okay, it's already, something else is using it. So I think I'm actually running it here in the debugger. Sorry about that. Let's start that again. I know this is a lot of information, but I'll go through a bit slower in the next video. So this is starting the the functions framework. And uh, I will link to uh, a podcast episode uh, in the show notes. Eventually when I publish it, I did an interview with uh, Google Cloud Functions main, main maintainer. So that is that functions framework running. So if you go to 8080 here, it will give us a uh, feedback from the server. Now that's fine, that's expected because that's what uh, the server does when you hit a, hit a bad route. And also to to run the data store local, so we run this npm emulate data store, which is this one here. And there's a uh, inbuilt into the Google Cloud API, there's CLI, there's the Google Cloud Beta emulators. And then it starts up and you give it a project name. So we start that up. like so. And that actually, there's a local directory on the machine where it stores all the data and you can go in there and you can inspect the files and whatnot. So now these are running, <laughs> we can then start the Svelte Sapper app. I told you this was going to be complicated guys and gals of course. So for the Svelte app then we just we do use the default settings npm run dev, which is sapper, sapper dev, and that'll start everything up. Now what I've done, I have modified this so that it works with the local installation. And this always will be cleaner, cleaned up later on once we can have some environment variables. So what I've just done, instead of pointing to the actual endpoint that would be on Google Cloud, I've pointed it to my local functions framework like this. And so we just start that up with um, npm run uh, what is it again? What did I use? Package JSON and just just dev, right? Okay. So I think that runs out on port three thousand. Okay. So then we can just go to our port three thousand here, and then the app pretty much should work the same as it would on production. So you can see here that um. Okay, there's probably some server error going on here. Let me just check what's going on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, looks okay. Should actually be saying there's no nothing loaded because there's actually not anything published yet in the database. Oh dear me. What happened there? I'm not sure. Let me just uh, refresh, kill this process, clear the screen run it again. Uh, let me think, let me think. I think I have to pass in some environment variables. 
because uh, Cypher Dev. Let me just check my debug configuration, what I'm using. Yeah, that's what I'm using, that's okay. Why is that complaining? I'm not sure what's going on here. Emulate functions. Data store looks like it's working okay. Okay, we're running on 8080 for the functions framework. Now, why is this taking a while? Interesting. Server dev. Huh. Let me get back to you a little bit, guys. In this Okay, so I spent a couple of minutes uh, looking at it and I did see that error before. So um, when I'm running it here under emulate functions, now you got to remember that this is all, is all kind of new as well. So Google are still like refining things, making sure everything works uh, and it's still quite fresh. And you know, that's, you know, that's the nature of these exciting products. So it, it was complaining that um, we cannot connect to cloud services without a project. You may specify one with an environment variable named Google Cloud Project. So when I was running this on the command line, then you, as you can see on the cloud functions here, I'm not passing in uh, Google Cloud, the project name. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna paste it here uh, and I'm going to say equal to the same one here. Okay. And we're going to restart it and see if it doesn't blow up again. No, not we don't want to run, run emulate functions. I'm not sure why this didn't say 3000 again, but the app still runs. So, anyway, let's go back here and refresh the page and see what we get. Hopefully we'll have something saying there's nothing in the database, right? Okay, perfect, that, that worked. That's exactly what we want. So this here is means that everything is working together and locally. So we can see that everything's running nicely. So that is pretty much where I want to stop for this video. And uh, the next video we'll look at things happening in debugging. Well, hope you enjoyed it, any comments, questions, of course, please leave a message below. See you soon.